and welcome to a very Covid safe Magenta Shores. Um, we are right in the middle of it right now. So I thought I'd give you a little video on something that you can practice even in a very Covid safe exercise environment. Um, there's no driving range right here obviously but there is a putting green and we've spoken about it before and putting's important. We do need to be able to putt. Um, the thing I want to talk about today is the putting grip. The last video I did, and we've had some good comments on it, was the grip that I used, or I talked about, for the full swing. So today I'm going to talk about putting grip, but not our putting grip. I'm going to discuss sort of three varying putting grips. Because for me personally, in putting, there is no right or wrong. You choose a grip that you feel most comfortable with, and, and, and try and stick with it. Um, but yeah, it's all about comfort, and it's all about that comfort leading to a confidence. So we'll talk about the three different types of grip that I think about and uh, and then we'll go from there. So the first one would be the traditional reverse overlap grip. Now when I talk about that obviously I'm talking about being a right-handed golfer here so again lefties you always have to compromise don't you. But ideally with the left uh, with the, with the um, reverse overlap um, what we're trying to do is we're going to get the, the, the left hand on the golf club, on the putter, down the flat edge, thumb going down the flat edge. And the important thing that we're going to do here is we're going to lift this finger, this index finger on the left hand, up off the golf club. From there, I'm going to slide my right hand underneath. Again, so the thumb is pointing down the, uh, the middle of the golf club. And this index finger is just going to rest on my fingers. Now, the reason for this is it prevents me from holding on to the club too tightly. If you watch, the Open's about to start. In fact, started on TV 15 minutes ago, just in case anybody forgot about it. But the Open's about to start at St. George's today. You're going to see a multitude of different and varying putting grips. But one you will see a lot of is reverse overlap, okay? And this is what I would class as the standard go-to putting grip. Now the next one would be the reverse, okay, or cack handed as I would call it, left below right. So what we're going to do is again, we're going to put the right hand on the, on the putter at the top, not down below as we normally would. So the right hand is going to be on the putter. Now the left hand is going to sit underneath, okay. Now there's a couple of reasons why we would do this. Number one is for a lot of people, the right hand tends to take over with a putter. We get a bit quick with the right hand. I won't use the word that some people want to use, but we do get a bit quick with the right hand. So by doing, getting the left hand down below, the idea would be that we try and cancel out that wristiness in the left hand. Uh, sorry, in the right hand. And a lot of people have used a left below right grip very effectively. The other thing that it does is it levels the shoulders out and it also squares the shoulders up. If I go right below left, reverse overlap, I often can see my shoulders wanting to aim off to the left hand side. When I go into this reversed grip, this left below right grip, my shoulders immediately square up and they also level up here as well. Again, there is no right or wrong. I've used this grip for quite a lot of years. And it's worked okay for me. It's a, it's a good grip. So left below right, reverse, cat handed. And then the third one, and possibly the most controversial one that I'm going to bring up today, is a variant, and you will see this at St. George's this week. And it's what I'm going to call the pistol grip. Some people call it the pencil grip. Now, left hand goes on as normal. Index finger tucked under this time. The right hand, we're going to create a V with the fingers in our right hand. And that V is going to sit underneath the grip. And the grip is just going to rest in that nice little nook here. The index finger is going to point down the shaft. And when you set up, you're going to feel that the club is just very much resting in that V. You'll see it a lot. I've started to use this and it's given me a hell of a confidence in my putter. Something that I've not had for a while. You can't flip at it, but also the left hand has to stay quite 
solid as well. I feel that for the shorter putts, for me personally, this is a good grip. So if you're somebody who's tried varying grips, possibly uh, the standard reverse overlap, possibly left below right, have a go with this one. Pencil grip, pistol grip. Well, my favourite for the Open this week, Lee Westwood, he's been using the pencil grip. We'll see what happens. If you have any questions, as always, please contact us in the shop. It is a little bit limited right now, but we are open. We are can help you out. Just give us a shout and I look forward to seeing you soon.